your viewing world. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video review. And today I have to review the brand new Socket 7 motherboard. Uh, this motherboard has some really good features on it. Some new features and then some older features coming from the current motherboards that are integrated into this motherboard. And to start off, right down here, uh, these, uh, uh, these are... ISA or ISA slots. It stands for uh, Insane Speed Acceleration. You plug in your uh, uh, video card right into here and you don't have to overclock it. It tweaks it for you automatically and it'll get the best possible overclocking with the items that you have in your system and it'll automatically set that. Uh, some of the old, an old feature that was carried into this motherboard, and I don't know why anyone's going to be using this uh, from here on out, but you still have the PCI slots right here, uh, so they didn't get rid of those. Another cool thing is with this chip right here, this is the BIOS chip, and what's really cool about this is if you have the exact same motherboard in another system, and... You tweak this one the way you want it, and you find out that, man, this is great settings that you put in here. You just take this chip out, plug it into your other motherboard. Those settings will transfer over there. You'll save it, and then put on your the BIOS for that motherboard, and then it'll automatically write to that BIOS, so that's pretty cool. And we have uh, headers for COM ports, COM1 and COM2. And they still have the headers for the floppy drive, printer, and IDE 1 and 2. It's pretty cool. There are labeled right here on the motherboard for you. So if you happen to lose your manual, just look on the motherboard. It's right there. Uh, another cool thing is, if you look right up here, this says uh, CPU clock jump. And what this means is... You no longer have to go into your BIOS to tweak, to overclock your CPU. Down here, if you notice, there is a jumper right here. And you just set those jumpers to however you want to overclock your CPU. And here's some more, uh, the CPU ratio right here. And... Uh, let's see here. Uh, I already said the, you know, the floppy and printer and com, com one and com two. Uh, but what's really cool about this is if you have an older power supply, you can still plug your ATX power supplies into right here. If you have a brand new power supply, the new ones that are coming out, uh, you can plug it into right here. It's the AT power supply instead of the ATX. You have the AT power supply. Another cool thing, another cool feature is you have four. Of these white ones right here four sim ram slots and you have two dim ram slots and that way if you run out of room if you're using dims plug one and two and you decide later on down the road hey i want to upgrade my memory right here you go or just the opposite if you have sims in here and you have all four then you just plug in two dims right here and on the way you are the way you go and if we notice down here this is the the, the uh, Northbridge Intel PCI uh, set that controls your PCI. And then you have a Southbridge down here. Uh, this controls, I know it says PCI, but they informed me that this is really for the new uh, ISA slots right here. And uh, they have the battery in a very very good location right here right behind the PCI slots that way you know you plug in your two uh, one or two PCI cards right into here it covers up the battery you don't have to worry about someone getting into your computer stealing your battery because that's probably one of the most expensive parts to this motherboard and let's see are there some more oh down here this is where your uh, from your case you're you're gonna plug into so like your uh, uh, hard drive activity, power reset, uh, power switch, and then you have your where your audio plugs into right here. And let's oh, here's the 
a look at the back. Uh, if you notice these two holes right here, this is where your the new socket 7 is going to plug into. And what's cool about this is you could run tubes through there and cool the underside of the CPU if you needed the extra cooling. And speaking of that, let's plug in a, just happen to have a brand new, if will focus here, well this is the brand new AMD K6 uh, CPU. And it still has a sticker on it, so I'll let you know that it's, it is brand new. And of those holes right there, you can cool the underside of the CPU and as well as the top side of the CPU. So you get dual action cooling there. And if you notice, there's up in the corner, we're missing some pins. And same thing on the motherboard, missing some pins. And all you do is slide this lever oh there's the missing pins right there slide the lever over and then back and then put the cpu in place and if i can get it there you go then you just push this lever down and clip it back on and you're all set and i like to thank you for watching the video review of the brand new Due to, be, due to be released uh, in the next couple months, uh, Socket 7 Motherboard. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe and more videos to follow. Thank you very much, and have a great day.